Yeah, and like I said on Twitter, I've, I've been scammed by art artists before. <laughs> and not gonna lie, like it, it messed me up. <laughs> it messed me up a lot. <laughs> yeah, because as much as possible, I wanna help like small artists, you know? And they're like, here's how it costs. I'm like, here you go. And sometimes I even add a tip because I, I, I like art and I like supporting artists. There's a couple of people that are like, kept putting me off and they're like oh sorry i'm busy they kept pushing it until it was like more than six months and then they stopped replying to me and I'm like hey what's going on is everything okay like did you get in an accident when they when they started like cutting contact with me i started like googling like how can i get my money back according to paypal you know if it's after six months from the original date you can't get your money back anymore so i was like very bitter because they they kept replying to me until the week the week of the deadline for me to do a charge back and that that stung you know because I, I really felt like my kindness was taken advantage though and I, I was really i was really in a dark place too because and i contemplated like making a call out post like hey don't don't hire this artist they'll scam you but at the same time i don't want to start drama <laughs> And just this week, I finally like spoke about it because I was contacting this artist, right? And I was like, hey, I like your art. Can I commission you? And they're like, yeah. And then, and then they were like, oh, also there's a three week wait, but you can send the money now. Here's my PayPal. You can send the, the money directly. And I'm like, I got, I got anxiety. Like I, I got straight up anxiety. Is, is it, is it happening again? Like, am, am I? Are they trying to scam me? So I like, you know, breathe. Zol, just breathe. Maybe they're not trying to scam you. So I just told them like, I, I, I'd rather pay once like I'm on the list, you know, after three weeks. When I'm, when it's my turn, then I'll pay. The guy was like, okay, you can pay me after I send you the initial sketch. And I'm like, okay, this works. This works. I looked at my DMs and my English was off. <laughs> Because I think I was so nervous, you know? I was like, how am I gonna explain? I don't wanna be scammed. But at the same time, I don't wanna be rude. Like, I feel like you're scamming me. It just goes back to Tumblr. Man, I haven't been on Tumblr since the Exodus. When they banned <laughs> Zol, what are you doing looking at that stuff on Tumblr? How do I explain? You see, Monster Girl, hot. <laughs> Anatomy studies, there we go. I didn't use Tumblr just for p***ing, right? But a lot of the artists that I follow also left Tumblr. I just followed their Twitter. Gonna make a p but 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 job Sanjay. <laughs> Sorry, I, I I read what you said, Coco. And I was like, how am I gonna say this? <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm not maybe. Repeat. Repeat it. Um. Coco is gonna make a p but but. <laughs> <laughs> How did I even do it the first time? A piba ba jelly sandy. A piba ba jelly sandy. When I make a sandwich, I like to toast one side of the bread and I put the fillings on the toasted side so that the toasted side, the toasted side of the bread is facing each other and the untoasted side is outside because I want that crunch from the toast but I don't want it scraping my mouth. So I don't toast the outside, so that when I take a bite, it doesn't scrape the roof of roof of my mouth. Mm -hmm. I'm no sandwich police. <laughs> it's just that when I do toasted side out and I take a bite, the toast side scrapes the roof of my mouth, and I'm like, ah, why? <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Yeah. Bro, I don't want to do this puzzle. It's purposely misaligning the frames. It's bothering me, okay? Be filthy. <laughs> I do, in fact. Uh, I don't want to do this, but it looks messy. I'm really feeling like the empty jar is where the cotton swabs. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe it's for something else.
I'd like to apologize for being stupid. 